oil change on tracker is standard. Put a drain pan below the drain plug and then remove the drain plug. This is not the original. The oil filter is just to the driver's side of it. And that would be, in this case, I have a, it's an ST3614. There's other brands, but this one's a high mileage one, so, and it's also a cheaper one, price-wise. But standard, run the vehicle beforehand just to get the oil flowing and drain filter. Place new filter, put drain plug back in, add oil. Now that it's drained, I like to run a little extra oil in there to kind of push out what's left before I put it all back together. There's a little, some new oil, maybe a half a quart or a quart, depends on how much you're okay with. It was about half a quart, let that drain out, and then continue changing. Old oil filter's off. Here's the new oil filter. And you put a little of the oil around the seal to help it when reinstalling it. I'll start it by hand. And put it all the way on until it is hand tight and then get your oil wrench and put it, make sure it's snug. Filter's tight and I ran some more oil down and it's coming out a little clearer now, not that you can tell in this video. And reinstalling the drain plug. Uh, and just a quick note, I actually got a brand new drain plug last, last time I changed the oil. And it was pretty cheap. Only a few bucks. And lifetime warranted. Don't forget to clean it off really well. Uh, I degreased it. I like to use carb cleaner, um, but right now brake's cheaper, so I've been using brake cleaner. The cheap places to get carb cleaner isn't so cheap anymore. I'll torque that down and then oil. I put four quarts of oil in and wait about five, ten minutes for it to settle. Check the dipstick. And don't know if you can see it, but it is on full. So four, it takes four quarts. If you're unsure, put less. Wait a little bit for it to settle and then check it and add as needed. While I'm waiting for the oil to settle, uh, you can recycle your old motor oil, just if it's synthetic, make sure you tell them at pretty much any auto parts store. Call it and make sure they do recycle, some don't.